Christmas with it. Yeah, the rest of it comes pre-packed. It's like an all-in-one Christmas dinner. In a tray? Sounds all right. Right, oh. oh. and it's the future. Too quick. Yeah. Had a busy day? Good, because it's your last. Oh, I just paid for them. Get a read, Mum. This store is closed. <sighs> Haven't you humiliated yourself for nothing? I told you, yeah. shut this store down and you haven't. Mold wine, anyone? What's going on here? Peggy, look, you just please stay out of it. No, 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 I'm sorry, Martin. I've held my tongue long enough. Oh, keep out of this, you nosy old cow. At least I'm not a liar. A liar and a cheat. I collected money for you. Good money from honest pockets. But you were lying, weren't you? You know what it's like to be sick. Really sick. How terrifying it is. I sat in your kitchen and I poured my heart out to you about the worst thing that ever happened to me. And you just let me. What sort of person does something like that? And what sort of a person banned someone with HIV from their pub? I made a mistake. I was ignorant. And Mark forgave me. Yes, well, I didn't. Nah. You don't forgive anything, do you? But at least I stand by my kids, no matter what. And look what you produced. Two thugs and a slapper. You even drove your husband to drink. Yeah? And what did you drive your husband to, eh? If Arthur could see you now, he'd be turning in his grave. <gasps> Come on, Martin. Let's go inside. If she wants to pack your stall up, just let her. <laughs>